guys it's Ben from the Parker Brothers and welcome back to another fishing video now this is a Wednesday upload something a bit different and I'm down a, a lake that's slowly growing and growing and getting deeper and deeper um, and closer to my heart if you like it really is a lovely little lake I'm not going to say where I am for the courtesy of other people but this is a public water um, and it's a cool one there's a handful of fish in here I would say around the 20 mark myself and Mr Longcast Corey have been down here before and done a bit of um, footage here. I think it was in the winter was the last video you may have seen on this particular lake but yeah absolutely buzzing for it taking the drone up and I've seen some absolute nossa pigs out there straight away we're all at the drone oh my god oh my god all round it sort of looking there they are there they are they're actually the other end of the lake i have seen fish over my spot i've got cooch drop jumping down on my bait but i've got it i found the spot i've got theo to hold the drone up and i just kept kept doing it adding little bits on little bits on to was 100 percent and it was like yeah money mate and that was it cast two three times on the spot to make sure i'm 100 percent and that is where i'm at now in the video i've put two rods absolutely on the money out there i've got one on a high vis I've got one on a, I don't even know what, I've, to be honest with you, <laughs> uh, what have I got on the other one? I've got a little wafter with a uh, little mesh bag on, with a, a array of different size pellets for different breakdown rates and that's been fl uh, soaked in a flat spot. So that's basically what I've done with them two rods, right hand rods on that, left hand rods on a high vis. I've put probably 10, 15 spobs on the money directly over the bay on that clear spot. So it was a very weedy lake, this particular lake. And there is very, when you take the drone up, there's very visuals, uh, visual spots. And when I mean clean, I mean like gravel, hard clean, clear as day out there. So that's what, sort of what I worked off. Last time I was gutted, we got here a bit late, couldn't get the drone up, and I fished it in between. I did actually catch a fish up here um, last time I was up here. What I'll do is, guys, I'll put that on the screen right now. So as you can see, quite it really was a banger. Um, quick overnight, uh, me and Corey come down, quick overnight, uh, and I managed to nick one. So I was buzzing with that, and also Corey that night lost one right in front of me. It was taken in from a right Mary dance, pulled to the left. We're in the same swims. I've also got Theo here with me as well, one of the Parker Bates ambassador guys. So I'm sure you'll see him later on. But yeah, that's where I am. That's what I'm doing. Like I say, quick overnight, uh, leaving in the morning, excited for this one. It'd be absolutely brilliant to nick one. Nick two would be absolutely amazing. Any more than that, well, I'll be over the moon. So there it is. What I will say is, guys, if you haven't seen me before, my name's Ben and this is the Parker Brothers YouTube channel. Now, we normally upload every Sunday, 7.30, that's our main sort of premiere. Everybody joins in, gets in the live chat, like-minded fishermen, there's a bit of banter thrown in the mix. It's all good, all good light if you like. And like I said, if you are free on a Sunday, tune in to the Parker Brothers channel at 7.30. So there it is. Hopefully I could bring in an absolute banger with the lads. Before I start this video, give us a thumbs up. Make sure you comment down below. Smash that subscribe button so you don't miss any videos going forward. And like I said, hopefully I can bring you an absolute banger. So there it is. I've got a brick on the rock, proper urban style, if you like. Bank sticks in, the nevs there. I've got a road behind me. We've got the two vans, buses come through. It's all crazy up here. You've got like a, a, a railroad track. You've got trains that come through. You've got public people walking. There's people, there's a gentleman walking past there now. But that there is the lake. Look at that. Look at that. Doesn't it look oh, nice? Beautiful. I've got my rod sort of out over here. Like I said, hopefully I can make it happen and I can just about see, I don't know if that is something on the spot over there, but I might get the drone up in a second just to see wherever there is, see whether they've moved on that immediately, see whether they're hungry. But yeah, rod's looking keen and then just let me move to my right over here. Corey's there, look. There he is. Found some spots, mate. Yeah? Just off the side of the weed, yeah? yeah. Nice, nice. I think the weed starts at the, the, Ooh, down. the tallest point of the tree line as you're looking at. I think it starts there, uh, it ends there, so to speak. So, yeah. fish just showed under that spawn. That's <laughs> yeah, if it did. And, uh, and on the spot. That, oh no, coot. Down. But that, but that was. Scoot <laughs> the swan away. Loads of fish out that end, and there's, there's someone in there fishing now. You can see him right at the back, and there's also someone in here. It's just loads of people up there. But yeah, this is Corey's swim. I think Theo's going to flick some rods out in here as well. Where's Theo going? Well, is he going to fix them out? Yeah, I don't see why not. We can technically all four, three of us can fish here. Make it happen. We'll Make it happen. Figure out. Yeah, do something. Mean, Make not, it work. Not silly with them. So. Yeah, happy days. And look at his little set up there. 
He's already set up. This is what I need to get. I've just ordered a bivvy and that will be coming to the channel very soon. There he is. <laughs> and look at this. Like the roads here. Look. It's crazy. Road. Road. <laughs> like madness. Madness. Oh, the fat spot. So that is the bivvy set up and I'm just going to literally throw my bed chair in, set my little um, bivvy table up, throw my bag in and that is it so I can quickly pack up in the morning. But happy with the rods, probably going to top up with a bit more bait soon. But yeah, buzzing for it mate. Hey, that don't look bad does it? The carpy mug there, Tom will be proud. <laughs> Proper carpy. Nice bloke as well. Someone who watches the videos come over. Well, we had a chat. He was in actually in Corey's from the begin with. Proper sound guy. And really nice to meet people that watch the channel. So yeah, happy with that. Oh, go on, Rod. Live take. Yeah, look, something's just bolted off the spot. Look at that. Mate, that's just come off up. The... Yeah, I think you're right. I think you're right, yeah. Because it's too early. Cool, though. Fish out there. Happy days. I don't know if you picked that up, but it sort of pulled up this way in the moment round. On the top. <laughs> I've got itchy feet and what I'm gonna do is just before bed I am gonna redo them rods I'm gonna do that now make sure they're hundred and ten percent on the money I got a donk earlier but just for that mind reassurance I've had a few sort of cooch drop down I have had a few beeps but just so I know I'm a hundred percent I am gonna do that so that's exactly what I'm gonna do now do the wraps on my rod get them both out sit back and just hope tonight it happens come on the carp well a bit of a commotion but that is the rods out on the money. Luckily, I got it first time. I've got one sort of just off to the left, one just off to the right, but they are they are blooming, blooming close. And Corey actually saw some fish very near the spot or lingering round. I've put the brick on the back, look, ready to go. Like I said, that's there. I've just thrown the drone on the top. Tripod there, bank sticks all tucked in. Ready and hopefully for some action tonight. Come on the carp. Having a bit of an issue with the swans at the moment. And more hens as well, can even dropping down. But Corey's having a go old perch fishing. Theo's just had three perch in about three minutes. Unbelievable. One's about a pound as well, so very nice. And I'm sure that darkness will be in very, very soon. Hey, <laughs> you got one, mate. Didn't take long, did it? About two minutes. <laughs> a few more down there. Hopefully, it'd be nice to get one slightly bigger. How do we do this, sir? Look at that. Little bugger. This ain't going very well. 
Yeah, the pose is there. Look at that. <laughs> the perchy pose. The perchy pose. <laughs> and literally, you had that there, didn't you? Just down there, yeah. Lovely, look at that. Happy Good days, day. mate. Fair play. Someone catch his mate quickly. <laughs> it's bigger, mate. Good fun, though, isn't it? Yeah. Literally free line and a little hook, some worm. Great fun. Uh, there's another one there as well. Is there? Not a big one. Oh yeah, I see him. Oh, did you see that? <laughs> yeah, I did see that. <laughs> Brilliant. Literally just had a beep. And that darkness is definitely, definitely coming in. I think we're going to get some food in a bit, which will be quite cool. Get it delivered behind the bank. <laughs> I don't know how that's going to go. It's going to be interesting. But yeah, fingers crossed. That's a liner and they're out there feeding. Well, not much going on really at the moment. A few fish boshing sort of in the middle over Corey or just to the left of him. But yeah, still waiting on food. Just ordered a seafood pizza. <sighs> Lovely chubbly. But yeah, crayfish. Saw a crayfish down here a second ago. Just down there. Loads of little rod and roach. You can see them. Right, I'll probably touch base when we got our food, but come on, rods. Some buckets, there's another bucket. <laughs> <laughs> Someone call me hungry. Well, yeah, let me put it on. Go on. Let's have a look. What we got in here then? Oh, lovely, jubbly seafood pizza, banging. What'd you get, Cor? Burger and chips, mate. Burger and chips. Burger and chips. What'd you get, mate? What have I got? Chicken. Chicken, chips. Chips, chicken wings. Yeah, man. Lovely, Happy jubbly. Days. Happy days. <laughs> So the lads are over there, I just inhaled my pizza and back at my swim, it was absolutely lovely by the way, pizza was banging. Bloke come to behind the swim, grabbed it, paid the man, happy days. But yeah, I'm going to chill for a little bit longer and obviously get some sleep later on. I'll probably touch base with you before I go to bed, if not before with the fish. See you soon, hopefully. So Theo's just had a proper finicky bite, hit into it and uh, just doing the wraps to get that rod straight back out it was from over here over there hopefully you can get it straight back out on the money fingers crossed so just had an aborted take really um, so redone the wraps another little PVA bag put a little tiny bit of uh, PVA foam over the end just to help protect the hook point and hopefully we're hit it bang on this time. Fingers crossed, mate. Fingers crossed. That's the one. You get a drop as well? Yeah, nice man. Happy days. Happy days. And the money. Come on. Right, well, that's me done. Lovely evening with the lads. And now it's time for bed. I've got a shift tomorrow at the factory. We've been busy the last couple of days. I've got loads of bait to make tomorrow. Fresh to go out. 
going into the week after and late week so yeah good night for now and hopefully I'm touching base with you very soon cool man Well, I just woke up and I was up at one for about half an hour, quarter past three, and about quarter to seven. Quarter to seven was the most sort of most active thing. I had about four or five beeps, went down my rod, my bobbin was up to the top, and I'm fishing docked up, so I left it a bit, a little bit longer. I had two more beeps. I'm hitting that rod, so I hit the rod. Maybe that was a mistake, nothing there. Um, flip the rod back out on there, and that's where I'm at now. I mean, the beeps I had earlier in the in the night that I just mentioned were like sort of not just a beep, it was like three or four beeps. Enough to get me out of bed and go down to my rods and see what's going on anyway. So, yeah, but anyway, I'm going to give it another half an hour, 45 minutes. It's just gone half past seven. We need to get back home. We're about an hour and a bit away from us here. It's not a five minute journey this one. But um, if I don't catch nothing in the next hour, I'm not too fussed. It's a lovely lake to be at. And I got some absolute amazing drone footage yesterday as well of these fish that are in here. So yeah, really happy with that. And I can't grumble. Being a lake with a handful of fish in, you can't expect to come up here every single time and catch something. And this is not, you know, I've only fished it three times or something. So third time up here they'd be in this trip and if I break <laughs> it is what it is it is what it is Corey I don't think it's had anything Fear, I don't think it's had anything there was a guy who rocked up about 11 o'clock last night and said I'm going in the armchair swims I was like crack on off you go I haven't had his alarms he was just flicking out in front of him but yeah time to wake up a little bit I think now <laughs> looking forward to a coffee this morning definitely need one of them but I really wanted to keep you in the loop. Real time baby, but yeah, that's the update for now. <laughs> oh, the poo bit. <sighs> it's pretty... Gutted. Still time, still time. Literally got nothing in that bivvy now. Theo's up, Corey's packing his stuff down. Van's behind. There's been buses going through this morning, trains through the night. But unfortunately, no carp, like I mentioned earlier. 20 odd minutes, 25 minutes, something like that. Good one. Bivvy's down. 20 minutes. 20 mini tolls, come on. Net there. Matt's behind, but if I catch it, I can flip the map out of the back of the car. But van, sorry. I didn't say it's a lovely like snag bit that goes up and down here as well and I did see a few fish sort of patrolling yesterday not proactively feeding but patrolling even the fish that we did see were just moving very it's quite funny because I said to Corey within about 35 seconds they can get from here to the other side because we watched them <laughs> so yeah time's ticking fingers crossed right well hopefully there's no wind noise there's fish showing up all over us, over me, over Corey, three fish have just shown over Corey, a fish has just shown over Theo, and I've just had a fish. So, over me, it's typical, it's always the way, isn't it, when you leave. But I, I've all, only done quick sessions up here, like a few hours, quick overnight, so I'd love to, and it will be coming to the channel very soon, guys, where myself and Corey, maybe Theo as well, will come up here, and we're going to do a 24-hour session, or maybe even a 48, a 48 would be nuts. That won't be this side of this year, that'll probably be going into next year. So that will that does bring this video to an end guys because I'm about to build that rod in. But um hopefully I've brought you a cool Wednesday upload, something a bit different. And um obviously some cool footage as well alongside that drone footage. I've got the swans making funny noises in front of me. So there it is. That's this week's video guys. I hope you liked it. If you have, give us a thumbs up. Make sure you comment down below. Smash that subscribe button so you don't miss any videos going forward. And I say yeah, I'll see you Sunday, 7:30. <laughs> All the best. Peace out.